son, I said, I know all three of those guys. I said, I know Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I know all three of those guys. I know their lives, but I cannot deny the anointing that's in their lives. Y'all not hear what I'm trying to tell you? What I'm trying to tell you is the thing you connect to is the anointing that flows. And this is a house word because I'm trying to get you guys to know that there is an anointing that has got us to where we are today. We come through some hell. Y'all not hear what I'm trying to tell you. We have been through hell. But there is a Father's anointing, help me Holy Ghost, that rests, that protects us, and that keeps us. The Lord woke me up early the other morning and said, forget about your Father's curses and hold on to your Father's blessings. Grab somebody and said, hold on to your Father's blessings. There is a father's anointing. Now you might say, well, who is my father? God is your father. God is the one that has protected you and has made ways for you. There is a spiritual anointing that is residing in your life that you got to know that no matter what comes or what goes, God's going to be with you. Here is the thing that I always knew. I always knew. I always knew my father was going to be there. My father was going to always be there. Here is the point. I got to preach this to you. I always knew that he would be there. When I was building this church, there was no sense in my mind that it could not be done because he was going to be there. He didn't have to be here physically. All I had to know is I could go and talk to him and he was going to take care of it. How many of you ever had people like that in your life? Well, you know that person is going to be there. But there was this moment, there was this moment, there was this moment. There is a moment when your natural father can only go but so far for you and with you. Now I'm going to help all of you that don't have a daddy. There is a moment that comes when your natural father can do nothing for you. Maybe he never did anything for you. My moment came two days before we came into this building. We could not get it open. It was a of stuff going on and the, and the city told me we couldn't open up and I went to see my father because he always had an answer that man you saw always had an answer I don't care what it was that man had an answer for every situation for every problem he had an answer but this particular day I went to the house and he, he was laying in the bed I'm preaching like he preaches so you can understand what I'm saying. He was dying from cancer and while he was laying there, I started crying and telling him, I said, Daddy you don't know what I'm going through. I have failed. I can't get the building open. They won't open up the church. The city won't give me a permit and I'm crying out and I'm laying out before him and then all of a sudden I looked over at him and he was he was sound asleep. He was sound asleep. He never heard one word that I said. Are y'all hearing what I'm trying to tell you? And at that moment, I heard God say, Son, rise. Take up your bed and walk. He said, I've taken it from him and I have given it to you. You might have lost that daddy, but in the year King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord. What am I trying to tell you today? You might have lost your real daddy. You might not know who he is, but there is a God that will always be with you. There is a God that will always be beside you. Sometimes you got to lose the gain, honey. You got to sometimes something's got to be taken away in order for you to know what I just told you, that God will, he'll make a way. I said, God will, he'll make a way. But love, think it not strange concern these fiery trials that come to try you as though some strange thing has happened to you but touch somebody and say rejoice rejoice in as much as you are partakers of Christ's suffering reach back and grab that anointing that anointing that says I can and I will and I will not be defeated that anointing that says greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world that anointing that says I am more than a conqueror I can do all things somebody bless him in here right now somebody bless him right now Grab your father's anointing. Grab my daddy's anointing. They said, I can do this. Get up off your feet and run and tell somebody. I got my father's anointing. I got my father's praise. I got my father's determination. Mm -hmm. 
shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Woo. All right. How many of y'all had a jacked up daddy? You know it. Guess what? We all did one way or another. Y'all hearing me? All of us did in one way or another. All of us did. All of us did. You know? I understand that guy. When I was 35 years old, when he died, I didn't understand him. I understand him now. I know. I told him, my father taught this class at the National Convention called the Dangerous 50s. When he was teaching the Dangerous 50s, I was in my 30s. So I had no clue. And they didn't let us come in. What they should have done was bring those of us in the 30s and 40s to hear what the 50-year-old guys had to say. It might have helped us when we got to our 50s. But it was a closed-door thing for the 50-year-olds. You know, I'm 53. I can teach the class. Y'all not hearing what I'm trying to tell you? I know now what he was thinking. I understand what he was feeling. And what the enemy will try to do is to get you to connect to the curse side and not the blessing side. My assignment today is not really to preach to you, but to be prophetic to you, to release you into the blessings of your father. To let those blessings flow down in your life. That you'll never be held up another day by anything that did not happen for you. Because the anointing of your father rests in this house. And here is my gift to you. If you didn't have a daddy, I give you my daddy's anointing. You can take that anointing that says a winner never quits and a quit and never wins. Take that anointing that says nothing beats a failure but a try. Take that anointing that says there's a first time for everything. Take that anointing and say, I can do this in Jesus' name. Slap somebody and say, don't tell me what I can't do. Y'all not helping me preach. Look at somebody else and say, don't you tell me what I can't do. You just got my daddy's anointing. You just got my daddy's anointing. Hallelujah. Slap somebody and said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make a boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Hit somebody and said, I'm going to bless God at all times. 